Greg and I talked about that when he came to get his I miss, like, I miss, yeah, I I miss Indian food. I miss whatever. And like, oh, but that's right now. For those reasons that we're here, if our kids can go outside because the complex we used to live in, our, we had a townhouse in The parents are signing up for time slots for their children. Oh, so to get to go outside. That is sad. In the kitchen, I'll write this down. They're signing up for time slots. Austin? Okay. Bye. It's three eight five one eight wrong. seven seven five. Good. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll text you. Mm -hmm. to you. Okay. Let's Let's leave the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Graham? Yes. Hippia? Yes. Feitman? Present. Hughes? Present. Fry? Present. Schroeder? Here. Barons? Here. Drum? Here. There you go. Form. Okay, next up we have the, the minutes. Does anybody have any amendments or additions? Per March 23rd. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? 8 0. 8 0. Yep. Um, next up, I guess we have public comments, but nobody's here for that. Um, and then next is uh, business and discussion. Um, yep. I want, before we go into those contracts, I want to know why was it the contract negotiated and then brought to the council before a contract being drawn up that we postponed the last meeting. Why? What do you, what do you mean contract? That, that, that contract was a contract that was negotiated. I couldn't hear you. That contract was a contract that was negotiated when it was presented. When we were in talking about maybe purchasing some property, whether it's this property or any other property, it was that there was going to be some negotiation done. And then we hear about it before the contracts got drawn up. How come we sidestep council being able to vote whether or not to bid on it? Or to vote on council can always, I mean, it's up, it's up to council to vote yes or no on any of these properties. The, the contract, good. the contract came about because when they were in negotiations with these two parties, each one of them had different demands. They wanted paid in a certain way. Different parties wanted different things. They wanted to keep from the properties or remove from the properties, and it became better to just have a contract written up so that you had so you could see the final negotiated product. Otherwise they would have came back council they would have came back to council and just had nothing in writing. Is there something that you'd like to change in it? No, I uh, I'm very concerned that we didn't know that we were actually agreeing to do this when we were talking about maybe buying it, and all of a sudden we've got a contract here that's out for the public to see. I, I, my, my biggest concern I, is... I, I could have not. I mean, I, I was asked whether we should put it in the packet, and I thought it was better... Who asked you? Staff did. Who did? Staff asked me if I thought that it would be okay to put it in the packet, and I said that I thought that that would be a good idea. That way you would get it Thursday. You'd have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday for any questions, issues, talk to McNish, go by and drive by the properties. Yeah, Ask I'm, I'm any aware concerns of or questions you had. And, and all that, but I, I couldn't understand why the council was denied saying yes or no about whether we were going to do this to begin with. That's, that's, why, that's why it was on the agenda for discussion. 
was on the agenda for discussion. It, it was tabled, and that's well within your rights to table it, whatever you want to do with it. Does everybody have an idea about the size of the structure and everything you're going to plan on putting on this? Mm -hmm. Did anybody in the council hear about it outside of yourself? I don't, discussion. Um, here, what do we, we were planning on doing construction. It'll be a while. Soon. It was just trying to get the property while the prices were okay. half decent on them. It isn't, we've got one construction project going right now, going to start, and I'm personally in a belief that we don't need to. But if we can get this property now, you know, and just have it. And plus, you know, the home will be helping get rid of a couple of not completely blighted homes, but you know, they're being used for storage on top of it. You know, is it like Yeah, I got that. But I'm just saying we're not and my understanding is my understanding was from the beginning, this wasn't going to be a buy the property bill. And I may have maybe my uh mis I misunderstood. What's that? Then what? That we're not, we were buying the property, but we weren't anywhere near ready to build. No. My understanding also is this was like a three to five year project down the line. Be years this wasn't road. a buy it this year, build yeah. on it next year. So yeah. Well, that, that property's not going anywhere. And no. it looks to me like before we decided we're going to buy property, I think we ought to see what the state of our country's in first. I don't think this is the time to bid on that. Or to, to decide we're going to buy. I mean, we're not building anything. I mean, no, you're buying. Yeah. It could be the. There's other cities in Kansas that are already cutting back on their health and everything else. And that kind of things. And that don't go out to the public good when we're going to sit on some land. I think it could wait until we saw how the financial situation of the country's going before we went ahead and did something. And my other question was, will this guarantee that we're not going to have to bother buying the house to the south? To the south? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you would want to eventually acquire that if you can. Well, You could build a building without the house to the south, but it would be a lot better to get the house to the south. Well, if I owned that house, I'd, I'd ask you probably a hundred thousand dollars for it once you decided you needed it. It's not appraising really at that. Neither are these other two appraised for what you're offering. And and also, if, if you own that house and you put it on the market and we've torn everything else and put equipment all around it, what do you think the value of that property is going to do? It's not going to go up. It's still going to go up if the city's going to want it down the road. Not if we're the only bidder. Pardon? Not if we're the only person that wants it. You have to find somebody else who's no. willing to outbid us. I sure think it's bad business to do this in the situation our country's in right now, but that's all I have to say about it. I mean, if, if council wants to, you know, go to executive session and talk about some of these other properties that we've talked about before, again, that might not be a bad idea. To do. <clears throat> and I want to ask about that. Is it? it if we had our attorney mm -hmm. discuss anything with the owners of the other property that was in executive session last meeting. We can go to executive session. I, I, dis I discussed that property with that person today if you'd like to go to executive session and talk about that. You did what? I talked to that person today. Today? If you'd like to go to executive session, yeah. And they're not interested? I'm not going to say. <laughs> well. I don't know if they want to have that out there, but um, I understand that I you want to buy this. You want to discuss don't look good right position. now in the position that the city's in right now. There are other projects coming. I mean, there's one on the docket later in the day that we're going to put off because the estimate came in a lot higher than what we budgeted. I saw that. Mm -hmm. There's another one that came in higher, but the state found some more funding to cover some of the extra expense. Well, I want to make a motion that we kick this, this, this real estate, these two real estate contracts down the road a month or two to see what the situation is going to be in our country. I'll make that motion right now. Do you want to 
30 days or 60 days? I want to see an improvement in our country. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. But that property is not going anywhere, and we don't need to say we're going to spend 100, whatever it is, whatever. We, we can't give up keeping an eye on long term projects and things moving forward because of this. I mean, I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but we can't just sit here and not get anything. We can't just say you're not getting anything done until this is over. I don't know when this is going to be over. <laughs> I understand and I'm, that. I'm well aware. I mean, our, our revenues are going to be declining. We probably won't have the sales tax coming in that we usually would. People will probably be late on their property taxes. Um, you don't get yeah. water shut off now, so I don't think we've had much issue with people not paying that yet. Yeah, hopefully we don't. Then why can't we put this down the road a month or two? And rather than saying we got a deed to the property, this is. It don't look good when we're going to make, have to be making a lot of cuts on a lot of things and a lot of places. Who's to say that those people will be willing to sell six Pardon? months? Who's to say these people will, will be willing to sell six months from now? Well, then I guess we're supposed to have it then. So I'll second this motion. Well, we have a motion and a second. Is there any more discussion? I need clarification for how many days. What kind of time frame where you want to put this off for, Terry? <clears throat> At least 60 days. You want 60? Yeah. Okay. I, I just needed to know how many. That's for the morning. Okay. <coughs> I, I, if we buy that property now, it's going to look the same now than it is with six, 60 days from now situation of our country may not. Well, it's still, it's, well, and it's, it's the country's going to get better, we know that, but that property's going to look the same now than six months down the road. And then we could still buy it then. Well, then why not buy it now? The, the, if we could buy it then. The, the one property, the $12,000 property, we've been trying to buy that for a while now. I would not, for sure, I wouldn't let that one get away. Not for $12,000. We haven't, no. Uh, council hasn't. We've discussed this property several times in the past. We have? Yes. Yeah, I don't think, yes. I don't think everybody yeah. was included in the discussion. It was before I was mayor. And if I knew I about it, I would imagine that you probably did. I don't think so. I think so. Well, there's a motion in a second. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. Is that one? Roll that call. Do, all, do all roll call. It's easier to do roll call so that okay. citizens can see because they can't hear what they're doing. Graham? Can we read? Yeah. Sorry. read the motion again? The motion, the motion is to remove the real estate contract from business and discussion for 60 days. And Diane seconded. Grant? No. Tiffy, yes? No. Weissman? No. Hughes? Yes. Fry? Yes. Stroller? Yes. Barron? No. Strong? No. Five, three. It, it um, fails. <coughs> Three five it failed. I guess I need to say that correctly. Sorry. Now before we like I said before before we have any more discussion on this, we would like to see any of the council members like to go into executive session to discuss any of the other properties besides these that we have discussed before. Do you have the sheet? I do have the sheet. Uh, I'd like to make a motion. Uh, I move the City Council recess into executive, this executive session to discuss possible acquisition of real estate pursuant to the acquisition of real estate exception KSA 75-4319B6. This session will include the Mayor, City Council, and City Administrator. The 
open meeting will resume in the city council chamber at 7.30. 15 minutes. Second. 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 All in favor say aye. 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 back into executive session for 10 more minutes um, I'm recessing for the dis discussion of possible acquisition of real estate pursuant to uh, exception KSA 75-4319B6 the session with the mayor city council and city administrator the open meeting will resume city council chamber at 742 second all in favor say aye Aye. Opposed? Cindy. Cindy. <laughs> Who's going to be the landlord if we if we tied for a guy that's in until October? Lynn, well. Lynn is. We're not taking possession of this until next year. That's why we're only paying him. Five thousand up front, and be back on. Going. Come on. Now, we are. Oh, one second. Now. Mike on. Mike on. Okay. Calls meeting back in order. Uh, no binding decisions were made. We're um, back at the same place that we were at. <coughs> So we're pretty much all in agreement that we need to buy Domus. And yes. the property at That's 307 Broadway. Broadway. Yes. So does somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that we purchase the property at 307 Broadway for $12,000. Yeah. That's second. Second. Half this year, half next year. Yep. Okay. Any more discussion? Uh, roll call. Graham? Yes. Vivia? Yes. Weidman? Yes. Hughes? Yes. Fry? Yes. Troller? No. Barron? Yes. Strong? Yes. 7 1 passes. Now the other property, 21 South. What are we wanting to take? I mean, motion to table, motion to buy. So those are options out there. Mm -hmm. I'd make a motion to table it for 30 days. I second. Any more discussion? Can we work on options in that 30 days? Rather than Do just seeing the hands? Well, that's, that's we probably should then try and. Austin to negotiate other options. Other options with a cap. If without, we want to give a cap without drafting a contract, yes. of course, coming to us with options. Okay. I think our attorney should do it. If we have a contract written up, the attorney will be. You know. He couldn't negotiate by ground. Is that it? Without a contract. 
And they want to offer them a price? That's what the, I mean, that's what the contract is, is getting, getting them nailed down to the price and, and what, what concessions they want, you know, what things that they want out of the property, what things when they're going to take over, when they want payment. Negotiate with with a couple of these entities, and then get basically a handshake on it. And then the council decides that they are in agreement and have a contract written up for them. The meeting after that. Well, I really feel that somebody should say what's the bottom dollar right now because we're going to talk about some other property. If you think it's the bottom dollar, nobody else does. On which one? Pardon? On that contract? That was the bottom dollar that he agreed to. Well, that's sure different than what we were told two meetings ago when we were talking about it. Jason. From the same person? Yes. At the time when everybody started this thing, if there was going to be some negotiating, then you probably be able to bring the price down a little bit. They were not cool. able to bring the price down a little bit. Pardon? They were not able to bring the price down in the negotiations. <coughs> then somebody should have come back to the council and said they didn't want to negotiate. Then if they wanted to draw the contract, draw it up then. The price that they came up with was the same price that had been that same number they've been that. talking about at in that the, meeting. Yeah, in the... Or in that, yeah, that yeah. discussed. The price didn't go up and it didn't go down. They the same. I mean, does council want to go to executive session again and discuss this a little bit more in depth and throw around some numbers? And yeah, I'll Make a motion that we go into executive session at seven forty nine for ten minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. You gotta read the big Oh, I'm here. sorry. All right, here we go. Um, I move the city council recess into executive session to discuss possible acquisition of real estate pursuant to the discuss possible acquisition of real estate pursuant to the acquisition of real estate, except section. ASA 75-4319B6. This session will include the mayor, city council, city administrator. Opening meeting will resume in the city council chambers at 8 o'clock. Have a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Ado. Okay. Sandy. Okay. I saw my phone that We're gonna have to get a better recliner out there instead of that couch. <laughs> No, I wasn't. I was reading the book, though. <laughs> if that matters. All right. Well, back to order. No binding decisions were made. Um, we have to have a motion to table. We have to have a motion to table that property until the next meeting. 30 days. 30 days. 30 days. 30 days. Okay. That was a the motion. There was a motion and a second. For that, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then it was not voted on. And more discussion. Um, all in favor, well, roll call. Motion to table for 30 days. For 30 days. Okay. Graham? Yes. Pippia? Yes. Bikeman? Yes. Hughes? Yes. Fry? Yes. 
Stroller? Yes. Barron? Yes. Strong? Yes. A.O. supposed to be on the agenda at that meeting, a uh, representative from that group, and then with everything that went on, and they couldn't so. be part of the meeting, so we're kind of just, until this is over, or until we can get them in here, mm -hmm. we're kind of, so, until this is over, or we're just kind of hanging tight on that one, yeah. basically. But, but I was asked about it, so I thought I would, okay. would report on it. Then well, do we have a liaison? The coronavirus. I mean, until we can have people here for public comment and everything for that, there's not really a lot we can do to move that forward. The Hartley Ridge. They gave an extension for the gravel. And then I, I think where they kind of left it was they were wanting to maybe get approval for uh, millings or some other material. But that was going to have to go back to council. Well, they said they're planning they're commission happening. to change that. They're having a hearing on, on September the 26th. That was approved at the March 10th planning. They're and having, having a hearing, or that was when the extent that was when the extension was, wasn't it? The extension on the gravel, Austin. Yes, yeah. and they yeah. extended yeah. it to yeah. yeah. Right, right. So, uh, do we have a? Did you appoint a liaison to the planning and zoning no. commission? Darlene used to be the liaison. No, I don't think we have one right now, actually. Do we? Well, Dave not unless you appointed one. No, I haven't. Um, okay. And usually Dave kind of filled us in on that if it was something that needed to be what addressed. Did. Yeah, or what Darlene did. So. Um, I'm trying to think. Because you, you were at that meeting, right? Yeah. I think the, the meeting board, for a while so I was, had to leave. Okay, I was there and you were there. And I think there was maybe somebody. I'm trying to think there was somebody else in the council that I would have. I um, don't know. We might have to the, uh, the consent agenda. Well, they have a discussion I want to ask one other question yeah, about that because she was asking about that. There was no report ever given from that meeting? Mm, no. They were, what well, was supposed to happen, yeah. Then what was supposed to happen was it was going to come back to council and then all this stuff happened and we were supposed to have people from Harvey Ridge who were supposed to be on the agenda couldn't have public comment or crowds, so it, it hasn't happened yet. But we talked about it at one council meeting. I'm going to say we did. But I yeah, I remember, remember hearing about it that way. Otherwise, Dave I didn't put in staff. About it. Huh? Dave was putting staff report in the agenda. That okay. how it, yeah. That's how it was reported to okay. you. He reported what happened at the meeting. Yeah. There's, there's a whole packet of reports here. Yeah. And then this was the last one. I had. I think what was what was going to happen was planning commission, if they're going to use a different material, planning commission is going to have to sign off on that. And then the council is going to have to approve it. But the thought was maybe come in front of council and find out if council was even willing to go that route. Because if council feels that Millings is not what should go there, there's no point in wasting planning commission's time having them work through that and then council mm -hmm. voting against it. So that, that was kind of what we were going to do before all this started. Um, was to kind of feel, feel you guys out and see what your recommendation was and then planning commission would proceed from there. Yeah. It, said, so. it says, at this, Dave's note says, at this time, 
someone needs to make a decision on when the concrete street is developed or change the surface to some other type. And that's at the September 26, 2020 meeting. So that's when the next meeting Because they just gave okay. another extension. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. That's, that's, what, that's what was decided at this March 10 meeting. But at, at that meeting, they also brought up, it was not just the extension, they also brought up using different building materials that was right. not part of the site plan. LMP. It was a site plan or whatever that was approved. Uh, that's what we're for. And the materials they were wanting to use were not materials that were approved in the original right. site plan. So the planning commission would have to change that right. to allow them to do that. So. But that will be decided then. we get back to hopefully some kind of yeah. and, then, and have but, a hearing. But then we should, that council should have a liaison. Yeah. For I, mean, it, I mean, but generally, I mean, as long as, which we're not going to have faith on there, I guess, anymore. So. The staff person will be put back on there. Yeah. So I don't we haven't, yeah, I guess, figured out quite how we're going to handle that yet. Right. Uh, but we'll have somebody there. Consent agenda. Second. Any discussion? Roll call. Graham? Yes. Hibia? Yes. Beichman? Yes. Hughes? Yes. Fry? Yes. Troller? Yes. Barron? Yes. Drum? Yes. Ado? <coughs> Next up is the appropriation ordinance number 3721. That's approved appropriation ordinance 3721, the amount of 286,348 62. Second. Any discussion on any items? Roll call. Graham? Yes. Hippia? Yes. Beichman? Yes. Hughes? Yes. Fry? Yes. Schroeder? Yes. Barron? Yes. Throng? Yes. Ado? Passes. Next up, uh, Austin with the staff reports. All right. Um, first on the list is the airport consultant. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the consultant for our airport. Um, FAA uh, requires us to have a consultant under contract. Uh, on a five-year contract uh, so that we would be eligible for uh, project funding under, under their grant system. Uh, currently, we don't have one under contract. Uh, their, uh, Olson was our, our, uh, our engineer on contract. Uh, that contract expired. They were nice enough, enough to help us through uh, uh, whenever we called. Um, and recently they were like, if we're going to do any more projects, you might want to uh, re-up uh, or put the bidding process out there or the qualification process out there. Um, so I did that. Um, uh, the Airport Advisory Committee recently met to review qualifications. Uh, we got qualifications from Olson, uh, and then we also got uh, from BG, uh, partnered with Airport Development Group. Um, Olson submitted qualifications on their own, and BG and ABG uh, submitted as partners. Uh, after reviewing the qualifications and evaluating past experiences, the Airport Advisory Committee recommended we move forward with Olson as our airport consultant. Uh, qualification packets were included electronically with your agenda. Uh, there are quite a few pages, uh, so I want, but I wanted you guys to have that information as well. Um, uh, the airport consultant is usually only paid when working on a project. So what, is, what does that mean? Is Olson going to get paid then? So we sign them up to a five-year contract. I give them a call with a question about our airport. They don't charge us for it. 
when we have a project that um, uh, that they're doing plans and stuff like that, that's when they're paid. So anytime I need information about uh, FAA guidelines or what to do about certain criteria with the airport, I can call our engineer and they have staff on hand to answer that question and I won't get a bill. Or we won't get a bill. So it's, yes sir. Wow. How are they paid? I mean, is it a percentage of the project or what? Yes. Uh, they, well, I mean, just like any other for their, for their um, engineering aspect of it. The plans, uh, the uh, construction engineering, uh, where they're watching all that, uh, they get paid that. And the FA, I think the FAA has guidelines on how they're paid like that. Um, you don't know the percentage, though. I don't know the percentage right off hand, though. But every t you see it every time we have a project. Uh, you okay. see how they pay. Very good, Olson, as their board consultant. Second. Any more discussion? Roll call. Graham? Yes. Pippia? Yes. Feigman? Yes. Hughes? Yes. Fry? Yes. Troller? Yes. Barron? Yes. Drum? Yes. Eight, oh. <coughs> Uh, next on the list, um, speaking of our airport, we have expiring FAA funds. Uh, since we didn't have a project scheduled for this year, or actually we did at one point in time, but the council decided to uh, uh, put an asphalt overlay on the taxiways to the hangars. So that pushed improving the hangar uh, uh, taxiways down the road. So we don't have a project to put these money to, this money towards, so the FAA is asking us to basically sign off on this uh, extra money that's expiring, um, and it's going to another in-state, I think it's, let's uh, say, El Dorado, um, it, it'll go to their project, um, uh, but they, they need us to sign off on that transfer. Uh, and the way this works, uh, this money uh, came from, we, we get $150,000 put into a fund uh, with the FAA every year. It expires after four years if we don't use it. We've used some of this funding, and in fact, I think some of this is actually discretionary funding from our airport apron project. Uh, so this might not even be that 150, uh, it might just be some that got transferred from which airport was that? I remember an airport transferring doing this exact thing uh, for our apron project to make sure we had that 90% match uh, from the FAA. So this is not unusual, um, especially when we're, we're not doing anything with the airport. So um, they're just looking us uh, to, uh, to sign up on the project, on the transfer funds. The money's still in their hands to give to El Dorado, right? Or do, we, do we have to pay them? No, no, we don't have to pay them. It's 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 just earmarked for us, uh, not in our not in our bank account. We're just relinquishing the right to it. Yes, that, that is correct. Move to peer, approve the expiring FAA funds. Second. Any more discussion? We'll call. Graham? Yes. Vivia? Yes. Feigman? Yes. Hughes? Yes. Thr uh, Fry? Yes. Troller? Yes. Barron? Yes. Strom? Yes. AO? Okay. Uh, next thing up is uh, our waterline project that we bid. Um, if you remember, uh, we initially bid. Uh, part of this project last year and decided not to go with it um, and uh, wanted to bid a bigger project this year. Uh, we set aside $300,000 for that bigger project, um, uh, but uh, we got received a single bid uh, for the Waterline project that included uh, Jenkins and Laramie from 17th to 20th, I believe. Uh, and uh, we um, Received one bid, uh, and uh, so I didn't open it uh, as per previous discussion with council. Um, but I did receive the engineer's estimate uh, for the project, uh, which is included 
Um, the engineer's estimate was $635,000, uh, $12.50. Uh, this is well over what we budgeted, a double what we budgeted for the um, uh, for this project. Um, and I don't think if, if the bid, if we were to open the bid and find this number, 600000 I don't think we would be able to afford that this year. I wouldn't recommend paying for it uh, this year. Um, so I guess my question to the council is, do we want to open the bid, one, or do we want to uh, not open the bid and just move on without a project this year? Yes? Is there a chance, is there a reason that we didn't get any more bids? Um, I'm not sure. We did have uh, uh, apparently another company wanted to bid, but they were in the midst of a bid opening, which they did receive uh, either a project this size or a larger project, and they, so they declined the bid. Um, and uh, I think a third company did pick up specs, but never contacted uh, either me or uh, Tony, which uh, at CES, which he was doing the bidding process. So um, just probably the atmosphere that's out there, people were, uh, we were hoping people weren't going to be this busy, especially trying to bid it this early, but um, apparently they were either busy or um, not willing to, to participate. When did this project go out for bid? When? When? February. Yeah. Yeah. So it was before the coronavirus really yeah. hit. Right. No, I was just... Wondering if we, you know, we just had it in there for, but it's been out long enough. We should have got a, a decent bid on it. Yes. Yeah. So is there time to still try to get another bid? Um, the way that, I mean, there is, but the way the response was, I mean, we specifically did it this way, is to get it on people's slate. Um, uh, contractors are filled, uh, already been filling up their, their schedule. I, I doubt that we get more bids, but there is that option, I suppose. Um, yeah. Well, it's nice to have at least two bids. Oh, I, I would have loved to get two bids. Yes. So is this just going to put us back a year? Right, and I'd probably recommend going a smaller project. I know we, we advocated for this bigger project or we t at least talked about it as a council thinking that doing this all at once would get us a better price. Um, one of the comments that uh, uh, Tony and CES made was the fact that this area needed to be bored. Uh, the majority of it uh, really got the, his estimate up. Um, so, I mean, that's, that was just the comment he made. So when you say a smaller project, you know, what do you have in mind? What I mean, this was our, our I mean, this was the top of the list yeah. uh, project. I'd have to go back and look at our at our priority list. Originally, this was a two-year project, though, too. Yes, and correct. We, and we pushed it all together to a one-year project, thinking with a bigger area. We get more people to bid on it because they'd be here a while. Yeah. They wouldn't have, you know, this was going to be like a summer project for somebody. Right. Yeah. That was the reason we did it that big. So. Yeah. And maybe it was the current situation. I have we have contractors that have uh, broken down to, to smaller crews, uh, less <coughs> crews. Uh, maybe this is contractors doing that and that that's the atmosphere that we're, we are in right now uh, that's already pushed one of our projects back is because one contractor uh, decided to break down into uh, less crews and that's our, our swimming pool project that's why I got uh, the, the slides they they pushed those back because they had to uh, or they chose to uh, uh, do the crews like they did probably trying to isolate their crews Isolating the crews, yes. So, yeah, and the contractors that we get are getting are in different areas outside of our um, outside of, outside of our areas that have experienced or have had cases 
of the coronavirus. Uh, so maybe they are taking more precautions yeah. um, when it comes to bidding and, and traveling and, and so on and so forth. So we may be in the wrong atmosphere uh, right now. Uh, so we can open the bid, we can not open the bid, move forward. Uh, we did have, I've had a, at least a discussion or two, if we didn't want to do this project, um, maybe one, we want to invest in something else, uh, a smaller investment. Um, uh, one, at least one or two people have brought up uh, possibly investing in uh, towers uh, for our uh, water meters, um, which would be a significantly cheaper uh, option, but would also uh, reduce the time necessary uh, when reading meters, um, especially with our new system. Uh, so that was, a, that was something somebody threw out there, uh, and that could be up for discussion for the council if you wanted me to bring something like that back in place of this project. Um, what are you looking at a total cost on that project? When we were switching meters to Neptune, I, we asked that specific question, and he could give us a general estimate uh, without doing the engineering, uh, because they would have to figure out uh, with that with our area where to place those towers. Uh, he guessed uh, offhand um, that we would need two towers, and he estimated, uh, and I, I, I hesitate to take the word, but ten thousand dollars a piece for a tower, and that would get us the whole town. Um, but that's Again, he didn't. He didn't have since we. I mean, he made that guess probably because we had a nice big hill uh, to go off of to catch everything, um, and we would just need to have that looked into uh, if we wanted to know a price before moving forward. Obviously, so that'd be a small project. It would reduce our man hours in reading meters as well as check, which includes double checking meters um, so when so, and it increases the likelihood of finding water leaks that's another thing um, uh, we can the, the, the towers uh, directly transmit back to city hall uh, rather than our guys having to drive out uh, and get a meter reading because somebody thought they ha might have a leak and their leak they only find out 30 days later this is more instantaneous stuff so that's something for discussion for you guys. On this water line project, I know that Tony's estimate was six hundred thirty-five thousand twelve dollars and fifty cents. Can we we bid this out next year as in two ways? I guess bid it out next year as a total project, and then maybe take it and bid it out, split it back into two projects, and bid it that way too, and see if we get. You can bid it. Alternate. You yeah. can bid it. Yes, with alternate. With so an alternate, you know. Yes. So maybe we get the main, the whole complete project, and you know maybe part A of it, and then part B the following year or something. I mean, that could be. Yes, you could make the project um, like that uh, as alternate in it. Um, so you probably take A and B, and it'd be one bidding. Plan. You right. probably have three different lines. You go, okay, what's the price of A? What's the price of B? What's the price if you do it all at once? Uh, that's how you would bid it. Um, or if you if we split it up into three parts, I don't see how that would work. But uh, right, because I only just, see, I only see Laramie and I see Jenkins right um, as as the split. But um, I could be wrong. We could find a different way. Uh, but yes, you could do that. With some of this coinciding with street projects too. This one, no. This one. This one. Okay. Um, well, this one, because most of our water lines are in the in the grass, so we wouldn't. They don't necessarily need to be coincided with street projects. Um, the reason for the boring was because I think on Jenkins, if I'm right, Jenkins. lots of trees. There's lots of big oak trees. You have to chop through their roots if you're going to trench it. Uh, so the boring was 100% necessary there. 
uh, I forget how many trees or how many obstacles are on the other streets, but that was specifically, I think, um, uh, the reason for boring on that one. Um, and then, uh, again, I forget the aspects of the other ones, uh, why we chose to go boring, but I think there was more obstacles. Uh, there are a lot of driveways in that area, too. That's so it. if you didn't bore, you'd be replacing a lot of <coughs> Lots of driveway. I am looking for direction. Why don't we, as Kevin said, why don't we try to end this next year as two different projects? Okay. I think that makes, you know, because as Sarah was saying, we don't know what's going to be going on. Sure. And we shouldn't even, you know, this is going to be a two year project, and who knows? Who you know, really knows? It's exactly right. So if we can hold this off, and we'll be in a hopefully a better spot next year to do this, we're going to consider it to talk about it. Okay. okay. I can do that. Yeah. Uh, would you, you like? You want to get some pricing then on the towers? I think. I mean, yeah. twenty thousand dollars is expensive. I mean, is it that oh, much yeah. at all? I mean, no. I think we probably ought to compared to the project we were just no, looking at. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 I think we probably ought to have them come up and look at it and at least see what. What kind of price they'll, they'll give us on it? Yeah, so I can do that. We make we need to make a motion about not opening the bid, or no, okay. I just no. leave it as is. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, uh, we will split the project or do, try to do um, uh, alternates uh, for next year's bid, uh, and and I'll talk to Tony or whoever CES wants me to talk to you at this point, <laughs> um, about how the best way to fit that. Um, okay. And then I'll get see what pricing uh, the price for towers would be. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, option, or number four, uh, the 7th and Broadway project. Uh, KDOT opened the only bid that was received from Brian and Brian. The bid came in at $218,967. Uh, this was quite a bit over what was expected uh, as far as the project uh, goes. Originally, KDOT was contributing uh, around 91000 uh, which was 80% of the estimated project. Um, after seeing the bid, uh, KDOT found extra money to increase their contribution to $179,582, uh, which almost doubled their previous contribution. Uh, normally, KDOT uh, would not do an increase like this, and we would be on our own if we chose to move forward with the project. Um, uh, total cost of the, uh, to us would be $71,000. Um, uh, we would pay this up front. There's a chance that the cost could be lower. Uh, as far as that $71,000, um, they would use that to pay bills. Um, and one instance uh, of us getting a refund would be if uh, Bryant Bryant took the chose to move forward with this and Bryant Bryant cut the working days down because they are so efficient, we would th they would then uh, we would require less construction engineering. Um, so we would pay less for construction engineering. So they would give us the excess money back uh, once they figured that out. Um, um, was this project budgeted for this year? Yes. It was? Yes. What drove the price of this project up so bad? There, after the pr uh, project was designed and submitted, um, we looked, we kept looking at things that may need to be improved. Uh, the, for instance, the brick on the north wheel uh, is all cracked. It's, it's weird how the south wheel uh, it has all nice red brick, no cracks, uh, if any. And then the north one, half of the, uh, of the bricks are, are cracked. The city council uh, voted to not put bollards on the north wheel, and I, a number of times, seen people parked or driving on it. And I feel like that could have had an effect on the longevity of it. You know, we put sound stages from Lando Corporation down there with the semis and stuff and drive over them and everything else. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, 
Them brick weren't, weren't made for that because that was a softer brick that went in them wheels versus a hard brick that's out in that street. So, mm -hmm. uh, And then another thing, we looked at the uh, storm sewer that goes from south to north. And one of the things is, I think we think the, the storm sewer needed to be moved over into a better spot where it was draining correctly mm -hmm. um, because right now it's, it's not draining the best. So that was, while we have it open, it makes sense to, to, to fix that. Uh, so, and I think a little of the project is including some conduit uh, to get wiring uh, to... Uh, Across. Yeah. Uh, while we, again, while we have it, things open. Um, this is something... Yeah, also, uh, another comment that was made was because of some of the requirements of the grant itself, the contractor has to find uh, a disenfranchised business, uh, which is defined by the state. Um, typically, uh, female-owned, minority-owned, uh, in that context, uh, and they're on a certain list, they have to make sure those uh, those companies are aware and either are willing or not willing to bid, and and, and that sort of uh, doesn't help the prices of, of, of the of the project either. Uh, so it's it's another one of those projects that's under the circumstance that probably the price changed, um, uh, but I will reiterate that KDOT does not normally find more funds. They usually don't have more funds. Uh, this is a circumstance I, I haven't seen. Yes, I've, it's, I've been in the, the business a short time, but they're pretty stringent in these times uh, with their money. And they'd love to see this project go through. Um, uh, that's, that's one of the reasons why I got the phone call the day before we put the agenda out uh, that uh, they had these extra funds in it, and they really didn't want to put, because one of the options they offered was to, to go out to bid again and, and see what would happen, but um, they didn't want to do that. They, they wouldn't like to do that. That's, mm -hmm. that's the, the um, hint that I got from KDOT. So they, um, they found that funding and made this a little bit easier on us. What did we expect it to be? The initial project was expected to be around one thirty, hundred and thirty thousand oh dollars. Um, but like I said, uh, we did find some things that needed to be that, on um, first look, you wouldn't think uh, to do that. Um, so it, it was a kind of a shell shocker uh, uh, when this came back like this. So when you thought it was going to be 130, how much did our contribution was? What did you say? I can't hear you. When, the, when we thought it was going to be, or we budgeted for it to be 130, how much would our contribution have been at that point? Um, uh, 40000 40, dollars. Yes. 20 percent of that, right? Right. It, uh, yeah, and it might have been a little bit over 40, considering um, they always find non-participating uh, yeah. parts of the project. Um, so we were kind of anticipating uh, $40,000. Um, I did, I mean, there, there was space for more uh, of the project um, in, our, in our street and our sales tax fund. This, um, we did have, I mean, we had, had a little more funds in there. Uh, if, if something were to change how, however much money uh, with any of our projects. And, uh, the thing to keep in and mind our too sales is, tax, we're not going to have nearly as much sales tax now, so, but. Another thing to keep in mind is that the way we originally had this bid out, we were trying to do this when they weren't having a gravel dash, and they lose the gravel dash date, so mm -hmm. it's possible this could interfere with that. Now. With the gravel dash, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so you might pass that on to them. Yes. 
Yeah, and, and but like I said, uh, yes, that is correct. Uh, we could get we could get some of that back. We're we're hoping that yeah, it comes in less when it's all said and done. Than we <coughs> estimated to that. Right. Wow. So seventy one thousand in France. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's we would pay that seventy one thousand up front, and then they would paid out with it, administer the project, pay the bills, and then anything left over, send it right, they'd send it back. There again, this is one of those projects we have bid on every year for how many years to try to get this hump taken care of down there. So with that being said, I move that we approve moving forward with the 7th Street project on Broadway. Second. Discussion. I uh, can uh, we can we explore getting bollards put on that north side? We can explore that. Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, we'll call. Graham. Yes. Pippia. Yes. Bikeman. Yes. Hughes. Yes. Fry. Yes. Troller. Yes. Barons. Yes. Wrong. Yes. Eight out. Okay. Um, all right. Next thing up is the uh, variable frequency drive that's in um, uh, the uh, water uh, plant. Uh, one of them has uh, failed or has been failing, um, and we had Hanover Electric who normally looks at all our electrical stuff uh, throughout um, either our water or sewer because they know the system, they installed a lot of it. Um, uh, to either rebuild uh, the current VFD or replace it uh, with a new uh, VFD that will fit in the current enclosure. Um, if we were to go a different route and install a new, a new one that doesn't fit and the current one would mean we would have to move locations of where it's at and uh, get a, a pay for the, another enclosure. So we're, we're trying to save uh, money in this, in this aspect. Um, uh, the, the rebuild was $12,800. How much did you say? $12,800. I, I should have wrote that down. Uh, 12,800 and then the uh, uh, new one is 17,350 and each uh, one of those you would add the $500 installation fee. Um, being that spending $12,000 to uh, try to get the current one working again, basically rebuild um, uh, versus the 17,000 for a brand new one uh, I would probably recommend uh, the, the new one uh, for $17,850. Um, this VFD, uh, if you read um, Kent's uh, description, uh, it, it uh, tempers basically turning on the system, whereas if you turn a, a pump on, without a VFD, it just goes on. And what happens is the water just goes right into the pipes and potentially causes leaks uh, uh, or wears down the pipes. Uh, the VFD slowly ramps up uh, the, the pumps so there's not as much stress on the system. Uh, so it, it does save us money uh, in the long run uh, with, these, with these VFDs. Is there a warranty? I don't have that warranty right in front of me, but typically there is uh, with a brand with something new like that. Austin? Yes. To buy a new one, has anybody considered asking about what they take on the old one back? You're gonna rebuild it for somebody and get their twelve eight out of it. We haven't asked that, we can ask that. Well, that should be asked to begin with, yeah. It makes a difference whether we say rebuild this one or buy a new one. 
How soon, how soon do we get off the dam? I would, as soon as, right now it's operating without one, and so the stress on our system is, um, is increased right now. So I would recommend making a, a decision tonight. Well, I think we should find out how much we can get for a trade-in on it. Kind of like an old car. Trade it in, you don't have to put it in a junk pile. I don't think leaving it without the variable frequency drive for a long period of time is a good, is a good thing to do. Even for those big pumps out there? What? The big pumps? At the plant, down, down, down by attention. Oh. It's been off and on for uh, a little while now, but now it's just been, we've been trying to get it back to operating, and it's just never, it's never okay. worked out quite right. Well, we really need to find, you need to find out the warranty on the new one. Okay. Do they normally come with one? Yes. Okay. You need to find that out. This one does have a warranty. Right. And then... Trade-in value. Yeah, that too, or, yeah. So, but I think if we're running with that one now, is that the screw going on down there? What? Is that what's been going on, the problem? Down by, you say this is down by temps? This is in the water plant down by tension. Tension, by tension yeah, <coughs> tension. Okay. How often have they been down there working on it? Whenever it fails, we're down there. I don't have a time frame okay. or a time on that. Can we keep can we keep it for a spare in case the other it's one breaks down? It's only a spare if we spend twelve thousand yeah, dollars on it. Oh, it doesn't work at all now. Right, no, right. Okay. No, but it could have some trading value. Well, I understand that. But we don't I don't think we have time to figure out if we yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think we need to get decide if we want to replace it tonight. I agree with that completely, except it'd be nice to know it. A phone call to find out if there's some trading value on the old one. If nobody's asked, we'll never know. So, so that can one. be done after we decide if we need want to go ahead and replace do we it. Have, do, we have more than, do we use more than one? Uh, yes, on different pumps. Is it interchangeable with other pumps? For all different well, I don't pain. think so. The well, if they're on the same type of pumps, then but it, but that one is working specifically with the other pumps, so it's um, uh, yeah. They're not interchangeable. It could be the same VFD, but there wouldn't be. It doesn't. It won't run two pumps at once. It runs one okay. just the one at a time. So it, I guess, what would be. Uh, the point of being interchangeable. And well, I mean, if you could use it, it for a it and then put it on another pump, if it if that one went out at some point, okay. like if we got it, if we kept it and had it fixed at a later date and put it on another, I pump, I would have to I would have to check on I would have to check on that. That's I, I, would, I can I can check on um, if there's trade in value or if we can get it fixed at a later date at, to to have it as a spare. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. I mean, I hate to call Ron this time of the night and ask him. <laughs> I make a motion to go ahead and purchase this VFD for seventeen thousand eight hundred fifty dollars. Second. Any discussion? Would that be after or before we ask about a trade-in so we can find out? So that It'd be before so we can get it done. Give it a price adjustment, maybe. That's all I want to see. You could add that to the motion with the trade-in of the old pump. With, 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 with possible trade-in of the old pump. We're seeing what they give us for trade-in of the old pump. I'm fine with that in a second. But if they won't give us any money for trade-in, then proceed with purchasing. 
And there again, if we're going to rebuild it, you know. Yeah. If we want to rebuild it at some yeah, future it'll date. Run, if it'll run another pump. Yeah. Then, yeah. Keep our options open. Okay. Any more discussion? We'll call. Graham? Yes. Tipia? Yes. Bikeman? Yes. Hughes? Yeah. Fry? Yes. Troller? Yes. Barron? Yes. Trump? Yes. Ado? All right, uh, last thing on the list. Um, uh, all right, the financials. Uh, General still sitting uh, above a million dollars, um, which is 100000 above where we had the fund last year. Um, water fund is 40000 uh, lower than last year. Uh, March's expenditures uh, include the purchase of $80,000 worth of water meters, uh, so that would be why, uh, one of the reasons why it's lower. Um, we made that purchase later in the year, um, last year. Um, uh, the sewer fund is still 120000 below last year, but still increased by $28,000. Uh, sales tax is still increasing and increased by 30000 in March. Uh, with all this said, we have uh, been watching uh, what's been going on uh, around us. Uh, we do need to uh, keep an eye on our, on our transactions, which um, I completely understand that. We're going to see lower uh, returns, um, so we're not going to be purchasing, uh, or we shouldn't be trying to purchase as much or spend as much just to see what's uh, going on in the year. Uh, but with that said, uh, City of Marysville is... Um, it's pretty well set. Uh, it's had some good uh, savings. Um, if you look at um, the last page, of my, well, one of the last pages of my uh, monthly summary uh, are on, on my financials. Um, uh, each fund is, is at 120 days uh, or more. Um, sewage revenue is a little bit below 120 days worth of revenue, or worth, worth uh, funding. But that does not include uh, the municipal equipment reserve, um, the sewer uh, reserve, the water reserve. Okay. Um, uh, capital improvement has some money in it. Uh, these things the city has uh, put aside uh, for, for backup funding. Uh, we are at a better position right now than a lot of other communities. Uh, and, in our state. Um, I'm not saying uh, don't be frugal, I'm just saying you shouldn't panic. Um, uh, we're not at status quo, uh, but we don't want to stop um, everything. So it's just my advice. Um, we, out of the communities that I've served, we are, and, and, and observed, we are, we are happily in a good spot. Um, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, this is a, a bad time um, mm -hmm. for the country as a whole. So, um, yes, be vigilant, uh, but know that um, uh, we, we are sitting pretty good right in this moment. And that's all. Committee reports, uh, street. Do have anything on that? Mr. Mayor, sir. Yes. I have watched the city crews with their new uh, seal craft machine go out. You yes. know, this thing works so efficient compared to the old one. Mm -hmm. I mean, they go out, they spray it, they don't have to fill it up with a little cart and then go through and run it with the cart. They just run it with the squeegee and everything's all in the, in the one hose and they just apply it right down. It is so efficient, not even close to comparison to how we were doing it before. So, mm -hmm. well, I'm using the, uh, the machine for the mastic. Huh? And the the old machine they were using it with the mastic for the larger yep. uh, spots that need repair, and it looked like it was working pretty good. Um, 
I mean, they made a lot of little tools and the bottom. They, they saved us a lot of money by making a lot of stuff themselves, yeah. which was great. Yeah, one of those tools, uh, if we bought it from the, the distributor, we would have had to pay 2500 bucks. We spent uh, a couple hours welding it together and, and saved a ton of money. We made like seven other tools alongside of it. Um, and we had, when the crack seal guy came down, uh, the machine guy came down to uh, uh, give instructions on how to use the crack seal machine, he go, and he was amazed at the, at the product that we had, our guys had made. He said, that's exactly what you would get if you ordered it from us, exactly what our guys would make. Mm -hmm. So that, I thought that was, that was great, uh, and just a, a, to what our guys are doing. Yeah, they even made a nice little shoot on the back of that thing, so instead of just dropping straight down, it goes right down into that box. And very nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. Oh, Thank, you. Job. Thank you. Uh, anything else on the street? Uh, water and wastewater treatment? Parks and Rec? Yes. With this COVID-19 around, is this going to interfere with the opening of the pool and all that this summer? Yes. Probably. Um, uh, even without, well, uh, COVID-19 uh, did affect us already in that, as I mentioned previously, they pushed back the safe slides. He was working on our, uh, scheduled to work on our slides, um, pushed their uh, work back uh, by almost a month. So May 18th is when they're scheduled to be here to do three days worth of work. Uh, that itself pushed our uh, pool opening. If we ever, if we open this year, um, that pushed opening our pool back uh, because it takes a week uh, to just to fill it with water and, and get it all run and stuff like that. So well, that's what I was wondering. I didn't know what the guidelines. I haven't paid much attention to that on swimming pools, you know, because the CDC. Uh, says the water, the chlorine in the water will kill it after a certain amount of time, but that's, you try separating kids. In the oh, yeah. Uh, so the social distancing would apply. Um, that mm -hmm. would, that would, um, that would really affect our pool. Um, there have been discussions on, from other communities, uh, some have decided to just not even worry about the pool right now. Another thing we have to worry about, um, is certification. Mm -hmm. Nobody's offering certification for lifeguards right now. Doesn't matter if COVID-19 passes, right? Uh, if we can't get our lifeguards certified, we can't open the pool. So that's another aspect of this thing uh, that um, we have to take into consideration. At this point, uh, we're already looking at um, not even opening until the uh, beginning of June. Uh, if everything uh, turns out into our favor. Um, so it's, uh, yes, COVID-19, short answer, is affecting our pool. I'm, I'm going to take it it's probably going to do the same thing to Murray's Sports and Rec on the ball. And Correct. Everything yes. else that we have going around. Yes, yeah, and uh, they put out a, a notice that um, they're still taking uh, their uh, signups, but not cashing checks right now. So they, that's their stance right now. Uh, and that's the last I, last I heard from Brian, um, is that they were still running like they were going to get it, except for not fully processing everybody. But they are prepared for it. I see Payshaw Construction started in the park. Yes, uh, Payshaw uh, is, is working on the fire damage down at the park. Um, I don't think we've, we haven't received the slides yet, um, but they, they are coming eventually. That's another thing that got affected by this whole thing. Is, uh, but we got pretty much everything else uh, to get it going. Um, even received the final insurance payment uh, for for the park for the fire damage, so um, hopefully the park will be ready to go whenever we can open it back up. Okay. Anything else on Parks and Rec? Uh, Cemetery Northward. 
Dale came to me today and told me that the Legion have canceled the memorial service. Memorial Day. Memorial Day service. Yeah, oh, that one that they Day. have up there. They yeah. will Zoom something, but they're not putting up the crosses and they're not doing, um, they'll just read the thing on the mound. Still going to get the airport to uh, fly the chemicals out. I mean, crop dust this year. Don't Anybody approach them? See yeah. that? You know, they haven't approached us, but more than likely they will. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Anything else on the cemetery airport? Uh, police and fire. Uh, we did have another committee meeting, and let's see, Diane. We were there were about the fire station. Oh, oh so yeah. We, that fine. Meeting. we had a meeting about the fire station last week and just kind of went over some of their plans. I think there was an issue with the amount of drop off and when I drove by there and look at it again, it drops about four feet from one end and that's a long building like 180. 180, feet. yeah. So it drops quite a bit from one end to the other and the recommendation of the, of the architects was to basically a mirror image that building. They were afraid of having too much of a slope going up the drive for those in bays, and they thought it'd be better to have the kind of the meeting area towards the south, move and the parking lot be towards the south and move that whole building more towards the north where it was a little bit flatter. So and it was a it was a recommendation that actually saved us money or yeah. uh, because it would require less of a stem wall um, because it wouldn't be in so much of a hill. Uh, so that actually worked in our favor. So with the, the building itself would be moved a little bit further north, um, covering a little bit past the, the, uh, the basketball park court where it is right now. Um, it's not much of a change, but it's a big difference um, in, in how they build it. City employees not working right now. Not that I'm aware of. I don't think we. Well, what are the library employees doing while the library is closed? The library employees are not under our purview. Is we don't. We don't. City? We no. don't control the. Yeah. the no. It is. A, it is. In the fact that the, their money comes through us, but we, as a city, have no control over their policy. They, we don't tell them, their employees what to do. And that might be one of those things that as long as their hours and everything are kept track of, that they might be eligible for. No, like so. Well, the, yeah, they, no, no reimbursement for city no, entities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they no. trying to work on something for they that? They are full time. Kind of yeah. well, Hopefully. Nothing, no, no get, nothing guaranteed. And we're kind of last on the list when it comes to reimbursement. So yeah. yeah, I think, but they did say at that meeting last week, and that was that league meeting, that they say to keep track of things that, that cost us yeah, money. Yeah, keep track of training it and, and hopefully items. Yeah, maybe yeah. something down the road will get past phase, whatever people were firing on there right now. So maybe there'll be some money for that. Do you have anything else, Terry? Yeah, I'm kind of curious if maybe if everybody's getting as happy where that's going, that's great. I was kind of curious about maybe I see that deal like even in Topeka where they're reducing employee salaries and a few things. I don't think that's necessary here, but maybe maybe it could come to where we'd like to maybe scale back the salaries and stuff that nine but the council and the mayor's here in the situation that our town's in high up. I don't know, but it might, might look a little nice to the constituents if we could do that. I just, I know they've stuck that 
raised in there a couple of years ago, and could be we could reduce it back to like it was. At least that would be, you know, we would be making a showing. So I wanted to just bring it to everybody's attention. If somebody feels the same way I do, if they'd like to make a motion about it, do something about it, I'm just bringing it up as a suggestion in on the finance committee. And I have one other question I wanted to ask about NASA. If we, are we ever going to get our stuff in the computer to this codification thing that was supposed to get done 12 years ago? <coughs> That's interesting because every time that I say to everybody, call, call and find out. And when, when the city offices are closed, maybe that would be a good time to get it done. We have... I pushed this off because the idea was not to have so many discussion items. And it's one of the things, and that was one of the recommendations uh, going to all the, listening to all these league uh, meetings was push anything you can back that you don't really need to decide on while well, we've been sitting on uh, the, I mean, the, I have it ready to go. Um, I have it, and I've submitted it to you guys a couple times, well, at least once, let's just say at least once, um, uh, for decisions, and um, it got pushed back at that point in time because we wanted more discussion, um, so I haven't presented it since, because there are a lot of changes, and there, it could prompt a lot of discussion, uh, but the changes are not legal changes, they are... Um, more just getting the book in line. It's not adding any uh, con um, new rules or anything like that. It's just getting it in line with where we're at right now. I just I remember it was going to get done and it never did get done. And I thought, now that nobody can come in and trust you, maybe that was the time. It's, it's ready to go. It's just, it's, I could submit it. Uh, I could have submitted it um, for this council meeting. But again, it was one of those items that wasn't exactly essential to talk about. Um, didn't need any action right now. Um, it's back, been pushed down uh, the road a couple times and it doesn't seem to, to affect anything as, as, as we are right now. So um, as I was going through these meetings, they were saying, cut things until you absolutely have to have them. Uh, so that's what I was trying to do with that. So I could submit it if you want. Well, that's kind of why I put it in the same category when we talked about maybe if there were some employees that weren't working. When we got the doors closed on the building, maybe it would be an unfinished business that we could get completed. I just, and, no, it, and all that has to be done is for you guys to review all the changes. That, there's no work on my end uh, that needs to be done. I, it's, it's done. Um, just to make sure you guys are all okay right. with that was more yeah. I wanted to ask. Yeah. What changes do what changes do we need to make? To do you need to make? No, I don't think any. It's it's well as a as a city, it was just taking out I mean you read through it and gave me some right. things that I found. Uh, and it, it's just um, changing references uh, of the code book, uh, removing some things that don't really apply. Uh, to today, um, again, and it's a lot of clerical work, is what it is. Because I was going to say, I thought I went through a whole bunch of You, you did, and you submitted your, your fines that you, you found that I, I think I, I missed something. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, I have. Uh, I was reading your notes, Cindy, about the spring conference, and you have something here on the bottom about the Main Street program. Yes. And, and I met uh, the man that, that they have, they have oh, the state of Kansas opened the Main Street program back up. And the man that is in charge, I met him, I went to a class, and he is um, one that started the program here a long time ago. And that was when they wouldn't allow the Chamber and Main Street to be one organization. They do allow them now. But he needs to come here and he needs to 
to talk to the, our organization because within that was before COVID. Now that was at the very beginning of it. We have to decide. We were grandfathered in because we had been an original city and we were still in. We hadn't asked to get out, but they will have to make that decision. They will, we will, I guess their committee will, has to make that decision to stay in or they will give that designation to another city. They let two cities in a year, maybe, and right now they have no funding, so you get no money for it, but they do have an architect on staff and we can use them so they'll look at our old buildings and say, hey, this is what we should, that we can do, we should, you know, for free. That, that is a good thing and it, I think there will probably be funding in the future, so I would hate to see us lose that, but they will tell them what the rules are to stay a Main Street city. So if they choose not to be then, so I have his name in this card and he was supposed to send me the stuff. And they've been trying to get a hold of somebody here for three months and never nobody here would from Main Street would talk to him, so I don't know about that. That's just what he Was it the original guy here you're talking about that ran it here? No. Oh, okay. This is the state guy that okay. he had been trying to get a hold of the city of Marysville for quite a while and couldn't get anybody to respond to it. So okay. I told him I could get that done. Well, that was before this, and then we had just formed a new committee that was both of them together. And he said they now allow that. That's okay. So, so he's basically got to wait till this is over. Well, I think I can try emailing him again and say, hey, what's happening here? But I don't know if he knows where the state's at on that because they kind of furloughed all these people. The state did. So that's what that means. This is very interesting. Very interesting. We don't have to make any kind of. Not yet, not until he gets in contact with our people. All right. Um, all I have. Um, anything else under admin finance? Uh, I don't have appointments or anything. The city attorney's not here. Uh, round table. Uh, I, um, as of tonight, I've enjoyed serving Marysville, but in recent months I've started working full time. And with the current state of our world, I'm also filling in as a teacher for my children at home. And my husband and I feel it's best for me to focus my attention on our family. I can't hear you. I'm rebounding from my position. Oh. To take the the school thing out. Does it also teach the kids besides have a job? Hmm. So. I couldn't hear a word you said. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We would have to vote to approve that, right? So if nobody makes a motion. <laughs> <laughs> prices are getting pretty low now, so I think we ought to lease contract gas, dye diesel, and throw diesel fuel at a low price. Mm -hmm. Diesel got down below two dollars. Yeah, yeah, I know. I say I, I think we ought to contract a bunch. Do we'll do it. What? What do you say? said so they'll do it. They'll do it. Yeah. Right now, right now we pay lower than anybody in the city, or at the, at the gas pumps. I mean, but is that does that just go with what he's charging at the time, or yes. like what they're saying? Can we? Well, like you do if you have a house out in, in the country, you you sign a contract with how much your fuel's going to be. Except for that, you can't right now. So. <laughs> well, I'm just. I don't have the apples to apples, I have that. No propane, mm -hmm. no fertilizer. It just depends. It just depends on who you're talking to. Is it supposed to start going up, then they just come to the yeah. Yeah. Lower yeah. your production, yeah. lower production supplies, yeah. 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 yeah.
know I don't know how much we're spending on mowing the levy. How much how much are we spending on mowing the levy? It's I have to look it up. Is it like twelve thousand or nine ten thousand dollars a year? Is that no, up not, this year or no it's down. Down I mean and then it's a three year contract. So we have okay. yeah, we have two more years in to go. I was, I was thinking maybe since we already have the tractor, maybe in the future buy a twenty foot rotary cutter so we can do it ourselves. The le the levy is a full time job unto itself. We would not be able to do anything else if we concentrated like that on the levy. Anything in the parks or anything like that. That's that three miles of levy takes up a lot of time. We can't even even with a, a guy contracted uh, to do the mowing, we can't do everything that's necessary to keep that levy in proper shape right now. Okay. And we, did, we did have two, and I don't think it was mentioned earlier, is that coming up, we'll be looking into purchasing a new uh, mower for the uh, lagoons. Lagoons and ditches, yeah. yeah. Like the dirty, dirty. Uh, is it, what brand is, it, is that what that is? The current one's a Dewey's, but the one I linked in the highlights is it's 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 pre not predecessor, but it's it's um, offspring, if you will. Um, it's the it's the company that replaced Dewey's. The, the newer and the newer the newer one exactly the same type kind we have right now. There are some other options we're trying to get pricing of, um, just so we can have comparable that does exactly what we need them to do. Um, and they mow the levee and anywhere we have a, a, a steep ditch uh, that we control. So do we control that somebody called me about the ditches out by the country club? Is that ours or is that the country K -Dog. club? K-Dog. That's K-Dog. Well, anything beyond Hardy's along the highway is K-Dog. Well, it, it's actually down on the 11th. You go down 11th. Road? Yeah, well, down right on the side of the country club, there's, I mean, the weeds are about this tall. They burn it about every 30 years or something, maybe. Yeah, it's not, it's not us. Okay. Yeah. I will tell them that, because that's, that's what they wanted to know. By the country, yeah, anything by the country club should be okay. um, somebody else. That's all I else, Keith. Good to see the streets getting fixed up here on uh, 15th Street and Broadway. That that was like a, a bad section of street 25 years ago when I first got a driver's license and drove to Mary's. I always thought that was an awful little spot of street, so really good. Um, the new spot, it's 10th and Center, that new intersection is very nice. I will say, and it may be because I'm here all day now, but other people commented to me as well, so I don't think it's my imagination. We have a real compression braking problem on trucks dropping down the highway to come to that stoplight. Yes. Whoa. Uh, did we have a sign that said no jade braking? 20 minutes. Yeah. 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 I'm just going to start writing it down. I sit in my, my office in, at home. Yeah. I should just start writing down. I, have we ever written a ticket for anyone? I know it's hard to catch people doing it. I'll go sit at the highway and write down plate numbers for an hour tomorrow and catch three of them. Well, it's they could really bad. Sit over there by Napa on that west side yeah. if they really wanted to. Oh shoot, yeah. Between that and then the way they speed oh, yeah. going up there, it's awful. Oh, the they have Becky used right. to say that for years. She, what? She talked Same about it. Right. In the morning, the they trying to sleep right. in the morning. What? At night, people when they came down on the highway over the hill. Uh, you know, they're the free town. to drive around no. Marysville. No. No. They don't have traffic. They don't have traffic. We can hear about our house. Yeah. Oh. Of the, the I mean, I have mine on my road for town. We lived at the okay. hotel for almost 40 years. Well, I only keep mine on them just in case. I'll sit on my front porch and I'll watch them, and there's not usually anybody in front of them. That's all fine and good, but they know what the laws are. It's the same laws in every town. I'm just telling you, that's where they have laws. I'm just well, I, that's why they have laws. Well, I hope they enjoy their tickets. Let's write a couple. <laughs> it, it, it surprises me when, they, when you had a train coming through the town and you can't stand an engine break. Well, you know, here's the funny thing about that, Keith. I didn't move here until 2009, so never was a big thing, the train well, for me. I'm just telling you why they have engine brakes on. Well, that's all fine and good. There's, there's a reason why people speed. There's a reason why people speed. There's a reason why people do a lot of illegal things, but the law is the law. 
I keep mine on. So it comes off. I hope they get you. Ten with ten on his bicycle. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go compression brake by ear plate. <laughs> do it. <laughs> That's all I have. It's hard to do it for you guys. I'm fine. <laughs> I'll whip kitties for safety. Go ahead. Do it. Yeah. Anything else, Todd? That's it. That's it. Diana. <laughs> But thank you, Cindy, for putting the report in the after meeting. Oh, okay. appreciated that. What are you talking? You're welcome. That's all I have. Thank uh, you. I just wanted to know. I had somebody ask me whose responsibility that was. I said I would check because I don't know. Kevin. Yeah, I just want to thank our employees, water department. Everybody that's working right now, I know times are tough, and you know, a lot of times we don't give them the pat on the back or say anything to them, and you know, sometimes they get disgruntled because, you know, they're not a nurse or a doctor or something like that, but you know, everybody we have that works for the city is still a viable part to the city and the community we live in. I do have something. It's cleanup week next week, and I wanted to say that out loud <laughs> so everybody remembered. It starts on Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So if you look at your section, and I didn't bring that along with you, the town you're in, you have to be out on the curb by 8.30 in the morning if it's your section, so our guys have time to pick it up. We make sure it gets to the paper. It is in the paper. It's okay. It was in the paper last week, okay. and the brush dump is open all week. From it's just there's a lot of piles of limbs down in our yes, yes, there are. Are. Yeah. Yeah, they're ready. Okay. So yeah. just I just wanted to remind everybody. Oh, and the city's not open for census either. Yeah, unfortunately. No. Yeah. You can't come in but, and do the census. But we are doing, I mean, I think about a week ago, we were like fifth highest for for yeah, census right. completion in the state. Yeah. Now we're seventh. Yeah, seventh, seventh in the drive. state. We need That's to still pretty good though. Again, yeah. one again on that. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to do online. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. I know. Um, I know, but not everybody has computers and stuff, and now there's the, the library. Uh, the I, will, I will I will say this. Open. If somebody calls and asks to company. use this this computer, we will let them. It means that much to us. Right. And if they want, we can help them over the phone. We'll, you know, we can enter it for them, and they can tell us what to put in there. You know, they have yeah. their number on a card. There's also, yeah. there's also a phone number they can call. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, yeah. And I and I yeah, I put that on Facebook, but that doesn't help people without computers. <laughs> <laughs> right. But there are a lot of people that don't have computers or what and I think you can do it on your phone if you yes. if you mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there are I've got a couple little things. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Dave Richardson for all his years of service and we're sad to see him go. Mm -hmm. um, we're not losing him completely because he's staying on his chief because we kind of found a loophole because of all this COVID stuff going on to keep him on his cheek for a while. Um, but we'd like to thank him for all his years of service. Um, and it's, it's kind of weird when people retire right now because you can't have a big party and everything for him. So it, it seems a little odd. He wanted it that way. Yeah, he's like you planned to play. You mean he was waiting for a pandemic to retire? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I just want to say Anyway, so I wanted to just say that, and then um, and then I'd like to thank uh, Michelle Weitzel too for all the years that she's put on you know, the commission tours and the great job she's done. And, uh, sad to see that she's been gone, but that's happy for that's the right decision. Say aye. 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 Just because you can't hear, you try stopping the sale right around. I don't give it to you. 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 I don't give it
to yeah. this, 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 this is the same example so of the lights on motorcycles saying allowed to pay save lives. You don't think they cost you more? That's the problem. Yeah, that's how you do it.